It is official. Park Soojun from Itaewon class will be playing Prince Yan, a.k.a. Captain Marvel's husband in an upcoming Marvel production, David. This is big news, and there's a lot of different people saying different things. Oh, I saw so many articles on Asian media about it. Obviously, Reddit was going crazy. People had this hot take, that hot take. The movie Marvel geeks are sort of really getting into it. And I'm telling you, anybody who's a fan of K-pop, K-dramas, should be excited because this is the new way they're going with Phase 4 and Phase 5. They're being more diverse. Some people like it. Some people hate it. Other people got some conspiracies out of left field. But we got to get into it. All right, guys, uh, real quick, let's just talk about Park Soojun real quick. He is from Itaewon class. I didn't really watch Itaewon class, but he's very well respected as an actor and for his soft skin. And yeah, his, I heard his skin is soft like butter, and he is famous for having no plastic surgery. That's what I heard. Um, also, Andrew, interestingly enough, Andrew, looks like a K pop pill version of you. I'll take it, man. I, I miss the K drama pill that he got, but uh, yeah, we he just got hit with the mushroom. Um, Andrew, he's the third Korean actor in a Marvel movie. Number one is Claudia Kim. Uh, number two is somebody that I would more get compared to, Marang Suk, and then Park Sunjun. Park Sojun. Yeah. Um, phase four right here, as you can see, Andrew, Black Widow, Shang Chi, Eternals. Eternals actually had the first sex scene, but between a, I believe, an Asian woman and a white it was guy. Was Gemma Chan? Yeah. So a lot of people are yeah. saying. There better be a sex scene between Park Sojun oh, and Brie and Larson. Brie Larson. What if they... No, no. Hey, two. <laughs> and that's what was going all over the Asian male Reddits. I'm just throwing it out there that they, 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 they were speculating that he could get played out a little bit. Um, sort of like how Simu Simpson's character was like sort of losing to uh, Nelson over the well, you know. Story. So basically, you know, yo, of listen, course, Andrew, listen, the Asian male subreddits are always basically like, yo, man, don't fall for it. They're just throwing us a bone with this Western media. Yeah. It's going to be like a fake marriage or something. Like they never going to show the Asian man actually being a true Western sex symbol. Well, you know, like, you know, if I'm going to be the actor and I can have any input, I want to make love to Brie Larson on camera. You know, I think I would do a good job. So I hope they write that in. <laughs> no, they should write it in, man. But, I but, would like but to see it. In all fairness, we don't know what the position of being a husband is. If you read into Prince Yan's story, which I don't want to ruin it for people, but I had to read it because I didn't know who that was. He's the prince of a planet called Aladna where you have to sing to communicate. So listen, there might be some K-pop connection here too. I'm just saying, what if they have to communicate in like BTS songs or something? So uh, also there's like this whole marriage thing that he goes through. So which so, so there's a lot of speculation, right? That yeah, potentially, yeah. I hope it's a real marriage, man. I hope they actually love each uh, other. First, I thought it was like Prince Yan from Yan Dynasty on China Ancient, oh. but it's more Marvel Universe. You know, I knew a guy named Prince Yan, but he was from Yan Tai, Shandong, China. So... <laughs> um, I would say right here, Andrew, it's cool that they like made him Asian. Oh, this is the original character, Andrew, that people thought he was going to play Amadeus Cho, ah. which is like this uh, Korean Hulk from an alternate universe. But back to the original uh, cartoon version Yo, of Amadeus Cho got the faux hawk. I think this was in 2010 when that Shout out to them really for popping. giving him an Asian American haircut. Uh, go back to that one. Yeah. But I would say he looks like uh, Prince Yan looks like a little bit like a like a Russian model. Yeah. So, but uh, it's cool that they replaced them, obviously, with a Korean guy. However, Andrew, this sparked some racism because, obviously, Andrew, there's, like, the diversity of Phase 4, Phase 5 Marvel right. versus the legacy fans that are like, why are you guys trying to make me understand Captain Marvel getting with Captain Korea and all these <laughs> things? I don't like it. It's messing with my worldview. <laughs> Captain K-drama. He is Captain K. All right, so let's read through some of these offensive comments because Yahoo always got the fire. Yeah, you, Yahoo is very representative of almost like a, a smattering of like middle America comments, but real comments uh, though. Let's see. Yeah, this one right here. Yeah, Marvel's still checking all the boxes. They didn't get any African-American midgets yet though, so they aren't even 100% woke. I got a feeling this is going to be a dumpster fire. And ever somebody else said, yeah, you know, Disney d dumped its old super woke leadership team, so hopefully they won't go in the other direction. Uh, I get it. Whites used to be racist, but now everybody's racist against whites? How is that fair? That's an eye for an eye methodology. Yeah. Uh, David, taking it out to the macro a little bit, here's my overall take. I think that uh, I get it that the Marvel movies look different than they used to, but we're done with all the legacy characters. They've been exhausted. They all are dying off and they're going to retire. Hulk, uh, uh, soon Spider-Man, you know, Iron Man, all these ones that we grew up with, 
without, before Marvel movies came out, we all grew up with these characters, so we already loved them, right? And we knew them, they're part of American culture. But now you're digging deep in the bag of Marvel characters, and these Marvel characters are newer, or they were the less known ones, the less popular ones. So of course, they're not gonna be as loved right off the bat. To be honest, it makes sense to me. But I think the beauty and what they're trying to pitch is that it all works together in this big, crazy, like Marvel universe, of course, and it's supposed to all come together. However, I will say, yeah, you got a bunch of characters that nobody knows about, so. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, like I said, guys, everybody gets into entertainment for a different reason. Um, obviously, the execs in the studios, they're gonna say that we're doing this for diversity reasons. If you were more cynical, you could say you're doing this for global marketing purposes because you're already fully saturated in your own local domestic markets. Um, other people would say, this globalist agenda, trying <laughs> to make us weak for what's coming. Um, and other people would be like, man, I ain't against other colors of superheroes, but it's just not something I relate to because in my town that I'm growing up in, it's not like that. But uh, David, like, you know, I think the global market is like the market now. So you just have to cater to everybody, you know, and having Park Sun Jun as uh, Prince Yen, I think it's a good I think it's a good. All right. You've convinced me. I guess I'm going to go watch all the old seasons of Itaewon class to try to catch up so I can, you know, enjoy the Marvel series better. Hey, guys, uh, if you don't like any of this and you're sick of seeing all these diverse characters, then don't watch it. Simply don't give them your money. You know, listen, Marvel's trying to build a new fan base worldwide because they're like, oh, actually, there's a whole world of people that are not exposed to Marvel movies and that we can't. Because they didn't grow up. In America. Yeah, yeah, even Star Wars was trying to do the same thing. They yeah, were trying Star Wars to... had super low market penetration in essentially Asia, but specifically yeah. China. Like, nobody knew what Star Wars was. Yeah, so the new Mar the new Star Wars is trying to to, to appeal to them But then somehow. why? They got to put all these Chinese Jedis swinging around doing Kung Fu. Now I got to see Kung Fu in a Star Wars movie. It's real weird to me. Well, uh, David, if they don't like diversity, what can they still watch? Um... I'm just watching old reruns of Walker, Texas Ranger. Just watch Friends. You can watch uh, pretty much any show. Yeah, from anything back then. from the past 110 yeah. years yeah. from when cinema, but you almost cannot watch anything like from like 2020. And no, numbers. of the past four years, I think it's going to start to piss you off. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, anyway, everybody. guys, huge shout out to everybody. You know, K pop, K drama, doing things. I know they're also doing, uh, what's it called? Silk? Silk? Oh, yeah. Who's a who's an Asian woman? She's Korean, right? Yeah, she's yeah. a Korean woman. So, like, I'm going to be really excited for who ends up playing Silk. Maybe if they can get, like, Hyori, that would be pretty good. But I know she's, like, a little bit older, so I don't know if she can do the physical stunt. You know what anymore. I was thinking? Like, what if they got Lisa from Blackpink? Lisa, even though she's, like, not Korean, but she is Korean. You know, she's K-pop, but she's not Korean. So, like, what if we got Lisa? That could be good, too. All right, guys, get Lisa in Blackpink. Andrew, play. you played basketball with JYP in Seoul, Korea. Oh, man. Maybe you can hit him up and, you know, talk to him. Yeah. yeah That's yeah, how yeah. the entertainment industry works. You, you just play basketball, play basketball with, somebody with once. someone once years ago, and then you hit him up and say, hey, JYP, uh, I look like 30% like Pak Sun <laughs> Get me in something. All right. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much. Uh, let us know in the comments down below if you're excited about this or what you think about the Marvel uh, movies right now. I know that some people have mixed feelings, but honestly, the movies are still pretty good. I think that there's a lot going on, so maybe it's hard to follow, but that's my... That's I, think I think here's my final takeaway, and I'll say this, and I, I think it's a pretty balanced take. You know, to make an industry that was previously not diverse, diverse, it's not going to be a perfect process. The transition's not going to be like, oh, yo, hitting home runs like yeah. every up to bat, you know? There's going to be some singles and some bunts and some misses and some outs in terms of like the process is clunky, but it's a worthy process to undertake. I All think right. so. And we can still make stuff that people like, you know? It's not just like automatically just because they're trying to be diverse, it makes the whole thing crap. Sure. All right, everybody, I look forward to being uh, playing Prince Yan in the new Marvel production. All right, everybody, uh, thanks for watching Hot Pop Boys. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.